everybody, it's the DIY King here today, and I'm going to be showing you how to install Siri on 5.1.1 iOS devices like a third generation iPod or a iPhone 4 or any like any iDevice that did not have Siri natively. So the first thing you're gonna need, uh, need to do is uh, go to Cydia. It takes a little while to load. And then you're gonna need to go to Manage Sources and add the source. BassamCassim.MyRepoSpace.com So Add source So there you go, add the source Which has the Siri Acid Siri in it Which allows you to install Siri which is pretty awesome. So it's really fun. Can I ask it like, what is the meaning of life? So then you're gonna want to go to the source that we just added and click on Acid Siri. If you have, if you're on an iPad, you can install it there, and you can. But since I'm on an iPod, iPod Touch, I'll go to this one. You can, uh, and then I'll click install. It's a really download, so I'm just gonna speed it up for you guys. So once your um, download and install is done, you're gonna want to reboot your device. Okay, so now that you've had installed Acid Siri, you're gonna want to go to settings, scroll down until you see Acid Settings. So here you'll see proxy host. You're going to delete whatever's in there and type in what are you doing? Once you're done that, you're gonna wanna go to Safari. And install the certificate needed for Acid Siri by going to and then hit go. Oh crap. Okay, so once you go, what this um, dialog box will pop up and ask you to install. Siri server. You'll say it's not trusted, but don't worry. Just click install. Install again. And then enter your password. And then it will install the profile for you. After that, you're going to have to reboot your iDevice again.
So now that you have successfully installed Acid Siri, the proxy, and the certificate, you're going to want to go to Settings, and then General, and click on Siri. From there, you can turn Siri on. You can adjust the settings to your liking, and now you have successfully installed. Siri. <laughs>